The information contained in this video is not financial advice, and a failure to correctly utilize the processes outlined and networks used can result in the permanent loss of your crypto. Don't be an idiot. Follow the steps as given. Binance got you feeling down this week. You've been unable to send your tokens off of Polygon because they've suspended Polygon payments. Or maybe you're a Binance.us user and you've never been able to use Polygon at all as a direct movement protocol. Or maybe you use some other obscure exchange that uses BSC to move tokens. Well, good news. There's a better way. Make sure before you do anything else that you log into MetaMask. Click on the top right, bring down the drop down and click on MetaMask to open it. Then enter your password. If you're not using MetaMask to connect to Polygon, then use whatever wallet you are using and try to follow along. Up at the top, make sure that uh, your MetaMask wallet is set to Polygon. If it's set to Ethereum mainnet, you will not be able to see any of the coins that you have in Polygon. It's worth noting that they've updated the interface for the Polygon web wallet. Uh, it now lives at wallet.polygon.technology. Uh, once you go there and click on Polygon Wallet, you'll be able to see your funds within the Polygon mainnet. Um, MetaMask shows these to you as well. It's a gateway. Uh, you can also click on the little MetaMask fox on the far right for any token, and it'll bring up the ability to add that token's visibility to MetaMask. So if you go back to MetaMask, you'll be able to see that token there. It honestly irritates the heck out of me that MetaMask is in a widget. So click the three dots on the top right and click Expand View to pop uh, MetaMask out into its own tab. This makes it far, far easier to work with. If you don't have any Matic in your account to begin with, you're going to need some. Go to the Mac and Cheese Finance link below and grab a couple portions of Matic. These are essential to funding your transaction in most instances, and you can top up almost every day if you need to. If you're using either mine's Polygon payout system, they will give you some Matic automatically with each week payment, so you can skip this part. You'll need to enter your Polygon address to receive some Matic. Just go back into MetaMask, click on your account, and it'll automatically copy it to the clipboard, and then paste it into this field below. You'll have to solve a CAPTCHA, which we all love, and then they will send you some Matic. If you can accept it, if you have Matic in your wallet already, that will refuse to send it to you. So I've given a lot of love in the past to QuickSwap, but I just wanted to highlight SushiSwap today. Um, if you click on your bar and you go to sushi.com, yeah, they actually got that address, and then click on Enter App at the top right, uh, you can enter what is a technically better visual experience of SushiSwap. Um, it works functionally identically to QuickSwap, does all the same things. Uh, you can click on your send token, click on your receive token, and select it from the lists just like before. So in this case, we're going to want to change our weath off of Polygon into USDT. That's the Tether uh, stablecoin. Uh, type in the amount that you want to send. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna do a test swap for 0 0.002, about six and a half bucks worth of USDT. Uh, you can see how much uh, it's going to charge. It's 0.3%, sometimes 0.15, depends on network conditions. You can do things like change your slippage tolerance. Again, I usually keep it at about one, so I have no failed transactions. And then click on swap and confirm swap. You can read the details of that if you prefer. And then it'll wait for your confirmation. Go ahead and authorize that in the MetaMask dropdown that we all love and it'll submit it. You can also click add USD to MetaMask. This does similarly to what we were looking at in the Polygon web wallet uh, if you don't already have that token available. And after some minutes, it will finish your transaction and you can go back into MetaMask and it's right there. I had about five and a half bucks before, now I have close to 12 bucks. Now here's where we're gonna talk about the real secret sauce of this technique. So you're gonna wanna go to xpollinate.io. And again, for everything, links will be below. So xpollinate allows us to move from chain to chain or side chain to side chain. You can see that they support five different side chains. So we're gonna go Polygon to BSC, that's Binance Smart Chain. 
Uh, and then we're gonna select what type of token we want to send over those chains. So we're gonna select USDT. Um, it supports three different stable coins, only stable coins, USDC, USDT, and the DAI coin. Uh, and we'll type in how much we want to send. So in this case, I'm just gonna do a send of five bucks. There's actually no minimum that I can tell. So the only minimum would be on the receiving wallet side. So once we have those, you'll notice it'll look for a route and then have the swap button populate. There'll be a slight fee taken off. This is a fraction of a cent in this case. But what we wanna do is click on advanced options to bring up a receiving address option because we're actually going to want it to front it to our wallet. If you don't do this, it'll just put it in a BSC uh, sidechain wallet within MetaMask, which you know isn't the worst thing in the world, but we wanna actually get this to an exchange. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to pull up my friendly exchange. In this case, of course, I'm gonna use Binance. Um, BSC is supported by multiple exchanges, the list of which will be below in the video description. So go ahead and click on deposit and make sure you're in crypto deposit once again. And we're gonna wanna select again the USDT Tether coin, the Tether stable coin. Once you click that, you'll have your network options uh, and we're gonna wanna select BSC, sometimes also known as BEP20. That is the chain that we wanna move it over because it is excruciatingly cheap. Um, just about as cheap as Polygon, except for, you know, right now where Polygon isn't working on Binance and they get stuck confirming and pending for days and days and days. So this is a really, really good workaround for that. So go ahead and copy that receiving address into the receiving address field. It'll take a moment to find the different routes. Uh, once it does, the button will pop back up and you can click swap. It's more or less that easy. Now we just gotta wait a few minutes. It's gonna go for an approved token transfer. So we'll have to approve moving the token over from MetaMask. Go ahead and click that. And then it's going to take about 45 seconds to actually send the transaction. So through the magic of editing, uh, we are now waiting for the receiver to confirm. This can take a few minutes. This is actually takes a little bit longer uh, than direct Polygon sends. So you're gonna wanna give it a few minutes. Uh, you'll see the transactions will pick up as it's waiting for the receiver. It just needs 10, those don't take very long. And after a couple minutes, through the magic of editing, we get a signature button. You need to do this. You need to sign to claim this transfer. Um, if you don't, it won't complete. And if your session times out, then you can actually go back and uh, re-sign that. It's actually a pretty handy function of xpollinate this includes mobile as well because it times out on mobile a lot if your transaction times out without you completing the signature uh just go back to the main screen and at the top there will be active transactions listed and any ones you haven't signed you can click the drop down there and they will appear there and you can just click finish that's it it's super easy so after another 30 seconds or so uh our transfer will finish and our signature will be accepted and there will be a 10 confirmation process, and then of course a receiving confirmation process. If I reload my deposit screen on Binance, uh, you'll see it pops up there and replaces. The Matic one is my most recent pending transfer. Why won't it go through on Matic? Why? Anyway, uh, it'll go there, and within a couple minutes, a voila, we will have the money in Binance. After Binance left us hanging this week, it's really good to have a solution that we don't have to pay any more than we already are using a direct Polygon bridge to their system. But hopefully, you know, they unsuspend Polygon payments soon. In the meantime, you can continue using this. If you happen to know any other exchanges that do support BSC, USDT, or USDC, or DAI transfers, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, as per usual, I will be updating the video description as time goes on to add these exchanges as I find them or they're suggested to me. So please let me know and come back for more tips on how to save money with Polygon.